game time for the untouchable true school sports. Let's go, baby. Bow. Be careful what you wish for because because it can become a reality. Yeah. All right, ben and Taylor here, True School Sports. I'm with still one of the best fighters around these weights. Cool boy. Always gonna be. Steven Fong. How you feeling, man? I feel good. Feel How does it feel to be part of a prelim game? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Way in tomorrow, so you see the energy. Yeah. Lot, lot, you got a lot more of it now as a featherweight. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You see the energy. I'm gonna have a lot more when I go to 30. Yeah, how, how do you feel like style-wise you'll be fighting compared to the, the guy we saw 122? Will you be more of like a power punch, you think? Can't give it away, I know you, you can't. You wanna get... see that power, don't you? That shit there. <laughs> it's there. Yeah? Trust me, it's there. Carlos Castro got a style that you're very familiar with, you know, the come for Mexican style, so. Do you think he comes for it? I mean, from a couple of fights I watched, yeah. Who? Escondon? What's, what's, what's Escondon, and I think I remember. That don't count. Because <laughs> he's five foot one? And he was, come on, man. He was like, okay, don't okay. Count for it. Gonna, he's not gonna, he's not gonna outskill you. What about the Brandon fight? Brandon fight? With him. Yeah, he came forward. Did he come, did he come forward? Yeah. I saw him boxing. He was he's boxing. A, he he, boxing he mixes style. it up. He mixes he it up. Yeah, yeah, he's yeah. A, they, he's not like an average Mexican that just comes forward. And that's what that's what's good about him because he he can he can switch it up. Okay. okay. Yeah, that's what that's what's good about him. I I, I, I would be lying if I said that wasn't good. So it's a good introductory fight to the division. Yeah, because you, you don't know how you don't know how he's gonna come, but you damn sure don't know how I'm about to come. Correct. Correct. We well, you know, I was talking to your uh, your boy uh, Wahid, and, and and he told me that you know in the in the build up to the the inaway fight that you uh you weren't really, you weren't really li listening to him, and that's why you're with Bozy now. Is is there any truth to that? See, I wasn't listening to him. Yeah, like he would I'll whoop his ass. <laughs> uh, it's hard. Yeah, it'd be it would it'd be hard to listen to, listen to him sometimes, but. I can agree. Yeah, I can agree. Yeah, because his words were, you know, you, you guys are friends. You guys knew each other before, like yeah, the boxing yeah, yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. So it was a little bit more different. Yeah, it was harder. To, I no, agree. Okay, okay. But how are things with Bozy now? Like, it's, it's, it's great. Things is going great there. Uh, I've learned a lot of things. I took it one day at a time, and I feel like that's the most important thing that I that I needed was that taking taking one day at a time training. And then it's not just about training hard; it's about learning and, and the muscle memory of consistency of doing the same thing over and over and over the correct way and not just doing it just to do it or just to say you did this amount of X, Z, X, Y, Z amount of rounds or minutes. So, so, so kind of just like perfecting your craft, you know? Perfecting. Okay, okay. And you know, um, I, I saw, I think it was in March, uh, I know you, you were tweeting about coming up a third way and fighting for titles. Like, I know Angelo got the IBF and a lot of guys you fought, you know, and beat already or in this weight class, so. Yeah, I know. We, we uh, unify one side. Win this fight right. and uh, get a WBA. Yeah. Is that the guy you're going, WBA? Yes. So Nick Ball, that's the guy targeting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm number one, right? Yeah, yeah. So why wouldn't I? He comes forward. Hey, yeah. everybody come forward until you know with another elite guy. And I'm an elite guy. No matter what happened with my last fight, that doesn't take away my eliteness. Like, I'm a fucking elite fighter. For sure. Why do sure. you think I was in that position? Because, well, you, you took a lot of tough fights I'm and won. Elite, I'm an elite fighter. Correct. Anybody who says that is just a dickhead. <laughs> Otherwise, it's a dickhead. There's been a lot of dickheads on uh, Twitter these days. Yeah, yeah. And without the, what, would, what would they be without, <laughs> without, what would the world be without dickheads? You need, you need dickheads and you need, you know, people that dig you up as well. You need exactly. a balance. You need that balance. Exactly. You're always going to have somebody say something negative that can't do it. That can't even lace your fucking sneaks. Okay, okay. So, but you don't fall too... Don't fall victim to their tactics. And their opinions. Yeah, don't, don't worry about this. What, 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 I mean, I know you've probably been asked this a million times, but what, like, what, 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 do you, what made it in a way so difficult to figure out that night? Or? It wasn't that what made them difficult. It's that my body wouldn't allow me to do the things. Like, the come back. Yeah, it wouldn't allow me to do the things. I rehydrate and everything. It wouldn't allow me to do things that I wanted to do. But, you know, we'll see them when we get another belt and probably at a different weight class. Okay, okay. Um, you're not gonna be at 126 very long, are you? I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't know. Okay. I know. Um, I know. Like, and I'm gonna bring it up. Uh, Angelo won a title. He, I saw you tweet about it. You, saw, you told him congratulations. Uh, you yeah. guys had a great fight. You guys did damn near like 2,000 punches when you fought. Yeah. yeah, yeah. How, how? 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 Like, what do you think about that fight as, as unification rematch? It's a great fight. Yeah. It's a great. That's what I said. Yeah, I spoke on that earlier. It's great. Okay. Okay. Well, I don't want to hold you up much longer because I know you probably want to get out of here. Yeah, but, I got it. but a cool. Well, any final message? Tune in Saturday. To the prelims. I, mean, I can't believe you made this shirt. So <laughs> I, wanted, I, I, I only would say buy the pay-per-view because my, my two guys, Caleb and Danny, but 
Tune in the prelims. For sure. The main event on the prelim. Yeah, there tune you in go. The prelim. All right, cool. I don't give a fuck what y'all do, but still support Caleb and, and Dan. All right, thank, thank you. you for watching another video on The Untouchable True School Sports Empire. I'm at the Box Hall of Fame out here in Canfield in New York. And for more great boxing content just like this video, make sure you click and subscribe right over here.